Hello Sigmas, in my video on the pulley system, I told you that if a string is a massless, then the tension is uniform in that string. Which means that the tension at every point on the string is the same. Right here it is T, here it is T, here the tension is T, right? But what if the string is not massless? To analyze what happens if a string has some mass, first we have to understand the concept of a phenomenological force. So forces in nature, so forces occur in two forms, right? So there are two types of forces. We have the fundamental forces. And we have the phenomenological forces. And what is the difference between a fundamental force and a phenomenological force? Fundamental force are, as the name suggests, fundamental. Whereas phenomenological forces are caused due to fundamental forces. That means phenomenological forces uh, are fundamental forces only, but uh, in a large scale, right? That means uh, the fundamental forces are playing themselves as phenomenological forces. Uh, the fundamental forces include gravity, electromagnetism, electromagnetic forces, and uh, we have the strong and weak nuclear force. Forces. And uh, the phenomenological forces uh, which we shall be concerned about are mainly due to the electromagnetic forces. And uh, those include the uh, force of tension, right, our today's discussion, and the force of uh, friction, which we shall discuss uh, in our future video. So tension is what we are concerned about and how does electromagnetic forces mimic themselves as tension? If let's say we have a rope, right? We have a rope. Physically, a rope is made up of what? Molecules. And what are molecules made up of? Molecules are made up of atoms which are held together by the electromagnetic forces. Electromagnetic forces. So these uh, atoms are held together by electromagnetic forces and the molecules also are held together by molecular forces. Which are again uh, electromagnetic, right? Even molecular forces are just molecules interacting with each other through this, through these electromagnetic forces. So this is actually a matter of chemistry because here we have a lot of molecules which make up the string and they apply forces on each other. This is actually a study of chemistry and uh, also physics at the atomic level. So this is how these uh, electromagnetic forces. So basically this at each part of this rope is attracting each other with some molecular force, right? And due to which this rope is uh, held together as a single rope, right? It doesn't break. So since now we understand what is the cause of tension, we can now move forward into finally understanding what causes the tension in a massive rope or how much, how we can calculate the tension in a massive rope. Now you might have guessed so far that unlike the massless rope, the tension in a massive rope is not going to remain uniform, 
right so these these are this is a pole right and this is another pole and let's say there is a rope on this pole right this is a rope and it has some mass right this is not a massless rope this has some mass so let's say it has a mass m and this rope has a length l so if this has a mass m then obviously the force at this part of the body because this entire rope has a mass m so force on the topmost part would be m into g right at this part let me call this point a so the topmost part is the point a and the force on that part is obviously m into g but what we want to calculate in this problem is the force at a distance x from the bottom of the sphere and uh, how will we do that before we solve this problem you need to understand a con the concept of uh, mass density now here you need to understand that our rope has only length it doesn't have a area neither does it have a volume it just have a length which means this this is a one dimensional body right and the mass density of a one dimensional body is nothing but mass per unit length what is mass density mass per unit length so m divided by l now this is what you have learned in your high school as rho which is equal to mass upon volume right these are exactly the same analogs of each other but this is in three dimensions whereas this one is also mass density but in one dimensions so depending upon the dimensions of your body your mass density will have different definitions right so here the mass density is equal to the mass per unit length now why did we define the mass density because see the force on this part let me call this point uh, p right so the force on this part at a distance x from the bottom of the string uh, would be due to the gravity of only this part of the string which means that the force on this part is only due to the weight of this x length of the string right why would this apply a force on this part of the string right this l minus x distance will not have any influence on the x distance of the string x length of the string from the bottom right so at this point the forces are due to weight but since this rope doesn't break right that means it is stationary this is this part of the rope this x distance is stationary that means the force if it is stationary that means what is the net force on that part zero so if there is only a force w what is holding this string stationary there has to be another force in the opposite direction right if i consider only this part okay let me draw this right so this is the x distance of the string right so if this has a weight this x distance has a weight let me call it wx okay then there is something that is pulling it from the upward direction because that section is stationary right it is not moving so there has to be a tension right that is this is the force that we call tension which has to be equal to wx only then this will be stationary by newton's force law that is the net force on a body is zero then the body is either either stationary or moving with a uniform velocity so since this part is stationary there has to be a force t in the upward direction equal to wx such that this t cancels the wx and the net force on this body is z right so this is t minus w t should be equal to wx now what is wx wx would be equal to so t is equal to wx which is equal to mass of the that length of the string right this length x right times the acceleration due to gravity now what what would be the mass of that uh, uh, x length of the string right now if the entire rope m has a mass l and the mass of, of the x string has a length x then what we can do is cross multiplication so that we get that m of x 
is equal to m x divided by x. And hence, we will get the tension is equal to m x g divided by n. Now, what is m by l? m by l is our mass density. This is the reason we define mass density. So m by l is nothing but lambda our mass density x into g. This would be the tension at a distance x from the screen. Now, as you might have noticed, unlike the a massless rope, this tension depends upon x. So it is proportional to x. And which means that with distance from the bottom of the string, the tension is going to increase because it is directly proportional to x. Which means that the tension is not the same throughout a rope which has mass. And this is what we wanted to find in this video. So thank you for watching and to motivate me to create more such uh, fun videos of physics. Uh, do subscribe to my channel and like this video. I will see you in the next one.